your flyer. It says, now defending, so I thought... What? You mean... You mean you want me to defend you? Me? Maybe you can tell us what happened. Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand? Or your panties? No. No. I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my... Well, my fiancé. I suppose you'd call him. Fiancé? What happened to him, then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? Uh, okay. We have, yes. So what's your story? You frequent the Kitaki Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their, um, organization? No, not yet. Not yet. You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So he's a... a gangster. Yes, but the Katakis are locally responsible gang gangsters. I thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job and live the good gangster life. I think you're onto something. Miss Kataki. I like the sound of that. I'm not sure your daddy would care much f for that. Murder in the park. What happened? I haven't been told all the details. But I do know a body was found in the park. Near the Kataki Mansion. There were a lot of police cars there. Apparently the victim was shot with a pistol. But I hear the cir circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. And your fiancé was arrested for this? Um... What sort of person is your fiancé? Your fiancé? Your fiancé is the Kitaki family's only son, correct? His name's Waki. Waki Kitaki. I brought a photo. What on earth? Well, that's quite the photo. I know. Oh, I know. Oh, he can be powerful and menacing, but so cute. But if he's the boss's only son, Yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. So, I'm a boss already, of this agency. I'll say, is what it, what, what it said. Please help my walkie, please. Right. My first solo defense case. Crime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Well? You know your stuff? Letter of request added to the court record. Right, let's go check out the scene of the crime. I just want to read this first. A letter of request from Alita... Alita Tiala. Okay. For the legal defense of her fiancé, Waki Kitaki. I don't want to go to profiles. Yeah, let's go check out the crime. Which, which means we need to go into the... Uh, the what is it, don't we? We need to get into People Park. Detention center? Wait a minute. Kitaki Mansion. So this is it, the first murder crime scene. Ah, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're, um, investigating. Aren't we, Apollo? So I have a letter of request here. Letter of... Huh? Why does it say hit request on it? Mr. Tiala must have used the Kataki stationery. Excuse me, coming through. Whoa! Ah, it's you, Mr. Gavin. What? Who's this guy? I must say I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. But this is the first time I felt this way with a man. Mr. Gavin? Wait. They look awfully familiar. Ah! <laughs> Fräulein. What is a sweet sweet morsel like you doing in such a damsel pla damsel place? Can I help? Uh, y yes! The policeman officer fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted, standing out here. I'll take you to the scene of the crime. Ooh, really? By your leave, officer. Y yes sir, of course sir. Aha, uh -huh, very well. This way, Fräulein. <laughs> what the fuck? I just got left in the dust. Yeah, I did. <laughs> of course. What about me? Whoa, what the balls? Okay, people park. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you. Will we see you again? Ask the wind, Fräulein. I'll be riding on it. Oh man, what a suave mofo. Sheesh. Who was that? 
Apollo, look! A, a corpse! What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, it sure got me. <clears throat> Might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? It's Emma again, of course. Oh, it's you. How did you kids get in here? Oh, this guy. Well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Him again. That glimmerous fop. Always getting in my way. Anyway, the scene is off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request. Hmm. One moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? Make sure it's not fake. Or something. Ah, who knows. I'd recognise that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says this was written by Tiala Alita. Thanks. Took you 30 minutes to figure that out. So, what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. The body? Was pulling the stand? So, you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Sky. I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. Sheesh, okay. My god. So, okay, so the case. Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's snack time. <laughs> what the fuck? My god. We're not making much progress here. She must not be very busy. <sighs> I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years. And they won't... They won't give me the position I requested. And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. He? Who's he? The next defense attorney? Oh. She's on about Phoenix. Your story. Uh, Detective Sky? Quiet, please. It's snack time. Oh, not again. <laughs> Fuck me. Hmm. Okay, she just says the same thing. Oh, okay. Who's he? Alright, well, I can't do anything else. Examine. What could I examine? Is this. Hey there, no mission with the crime scene. But we need to investigate. Investigations are to be carried out by, prof by professionals, scientifically. She's not going to let us check out the crime scene, is she? Hey, Apollo. The v my very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's not... It's kind of hard not to notice. Better check what we came here to find, at least. Yes, it's the noodle stand, I know. It's Eldoon's noodles. Hey there, no matter with the crime scene. But we need to investigate. Apollo, look, the stand. It says Eldoon. I've noticed. Well, we've solved the case of the missing stand, at least. Though the circumstances could could stand to be better. Right, well, I've examined that. I can't really do much else. You won't let me do anything, bitch. Let me examine, man. Phoenix, we need your help. Wait. We need to go back here to go to the clinic. Sheesh. Yeah, Phoenix, give me a hand. Ah, you're back. Run into some problems. Oh, Polly. Didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who? Me? No. I'm fine, really. What's this? So there is a problem. No, no problem. Actually, I got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The request was for me. Oh, right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? <laughs> He's doing that on purpose, I know it. Okay. Murder. So, what about this defense request? It's related to the murder in People Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Eldoon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime. Did you now? That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon.
I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean... You don't know what the murder weapon was? That funny detective lady won't let us on the scene. What kind of detective? Where's a lab coat, anyway? A lab coat? Hmm. Didn't think she'd be involved with this. You know her? You could say that. Sky Connection. So, you know her, don't you? I met her on a case. This was about ten years ago. She was still a high school student at the time. That would make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. Oh wait, maybe you know that other guy too. The other guy? That shining prince on the motorcycle. Prince? Mysterious prince. Apollo, tell me about this prince of truthies. Indulge a concerned father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Did he now? You know him? My guess is he's Christoph... No, he's Christoph Gavin's younger brother. His brother? We're acquaintances, after a fashion. Is that Clavier? Gavin Rock and Roll God Incarnate. Clavier? What a lovely name, he's so dreamy. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. What was he doing out there? I have a feeling you'll be crossing paths again soon. Now, what was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah, that detective won't, won't let us. Go to the office, under the silk top hat. You'll find a bottle of white powder. Try taking that to this detective. White powder? I hope it's not what I think it is. Just take it to her. It'll be fine, you see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. There we go. Now, he, now if she knows we're an acquaintance, of Phoenix, then uh, she'll probably be a lot nicer. Underneath a silk hat. Oh, there. So this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Oh, it's for getting fingerprints. Huh? Whoa! You know what this is, Trucy? I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, so I licked it. He got mad at me. This is getting more and more suspicious. White powder. Yeah, it's for uncovering fingerprints. Let's go talk to that detective. She's sure to know what that white powder is. Hell yeah. Mysterious white powder with the alleged ability to improve Detective Sky's mood. Alright, go back and move. Back to the park. Goddamn, we have to move so much. Kinda wish they would just let you move to anywhere from any place, as opposed to having to jump through all these hoops. Ah, oh, never mind. Right, present the white powder. Um, does this ring any bells? Is that? It couldn't be. Where'd you get that? I brought it from the office. You work at the Wright and Co. Law offices yet? Yes. Uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D daddy? Uh, I'm sorry. Who did you say you were? Trucy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? Mr. Wright has a daughter? You seem shocked. Everybody is. Well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice, then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. This powder is used for detecting fingerprints. Fingerprints? I guess you might call it a memento, from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. White powder, me white powder memories. If you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. Well, dust for prints. Well, she's quite, e quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. Yeah, she is. Finally, I can actually do stuff. I can talk to her too. Yay! The case. The report came in late last night. The body was found much as you see it now. Except it was a real body. But why? Why was a body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? Gunshot. No cause. A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Unless you're a cop. Or a gangster. Ooh, dear. Incidentally, the victim's name was... P 
Al Maractis. I just received the autopsy report, in fact. Nice, thank you. I mean, really, what's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off, pulling a mysterious noodle stand behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. What, about the noodle stand? Hmm. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we do know where the noodle stand came from. The noodle stand's owner is... There he is. Guy Eldoon. I should actually read all these different profiles. You can't play a lick. Right, yes. F future stage magician in training, apparently the daughter of Phoenix Wright. A suspicious looking fellow, though he's apparently is Mr. Wright's physician. Proprietor of the noodle stand Eldoon's noodles. Once stolen stand found. Wife of the fourth Kentucky family boss. Busy cleaning up paint spilled by her front gate. Woman who requested that I defend her fiance. Emma Sky. Head detective on the case, obsessed with forensic science. Mood, touchy. Waki Kentucky, the defendant, heir to the Kentucky family empire, and Alita Tiala's fiance. Ah, oh, Clavia Gavin, a spin imager and younger brother of Mr. Gavin, an acquaintance of Mr. Wright. Why doesn't it show my profile? Wait, how old is this guy? 24. 25. 10 years ago. Wait. Or was it. He said 10 years ago, which said it'd be around the same age as Apollo. How old is Apollo? I'm confused. Who's the old guy? This is the proprietor of Eldoon's Noodles, Mr. Eldoon himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work. Thanks. There we go, we got a noodle stand. What sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. Your story? Who? Me? I'm just a supervisor for the crime team. Detective Sky. Hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Ooh, were you studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. But when I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs, just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensics expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but... I had a lot of favours to repay to people back here. Favours? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in an incident before I left. But Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed them. Really? I had no idea. If she's been out of the country for a while... She probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current, uh, state of affairs. I think she does. The defendant. Um... Could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kitaki family, yes? Waki Kitaki. I don't know if he is the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight, away weight around violently in the detention center. I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? You are a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his, by any chance. Uh, actually, yes I am. Well, we have a witness, to the moment of the crime. Eh? The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Okay, the victim? A knife! Could you tell us a bit more about the victim? Well, let's see. Apparently he's a physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off too, from the sounds of it. The clinic's name is the Maractus Clinic. Hmm, maybe that's why the cop car was parked there. What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah, though on a related issue. I told the detective about the case of its stolen noodle stand. I see, so that means Dr. Maractus stole the stand and pulled it all the way here. That would seem to be the case. But why? Don't ask me. Right now you can examine some stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> it's a knife. A ship, to be precise. Ooh, lingo. The defendant, Waki Kitaki, is a son of the known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the metal weapon a pistol? Huh? Look at this. There's a handprint on the ship. 
handprint, then there might be a fingerprint. Let's investigate. Alright. Right, first choose a fingerprint. You want to examine. Choose a fingerprint. Look closely on the handle. See, there's more than one fingerprint on... Uh, one fingerprint there. God. These black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. That's the darkest one, so, you know. Right, let's get detecting. Wow, she's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some uh, uh, aluminium powder over the print. Sheesh. Just touch the screen like this. See? God, this is so much easier than the DS. Kind of glad I'm doing the Android version and not the DS version, because otherwise I'd have to blow it away, which would be a pain in the ass. Although the, you can actually do the mic thing where it's just static and then you press a button. And it does it pretty damn well. The oil left by the print absorbs the uh, aluminium powder. So you just dust it on. And flick any excess off. Flick. Yeah, like you're brushing an especially stu stubborn fop off with your finger. Like this. Wow, amazing. It's like magic. Isn't it though? Right, let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. Just put down a shitload. And then I'm assuming I just hold him. There we go. Oh wow, this works out so much better. I'm just gonna do it around the edge. That match. There we go. Hmm, good, clear, quite impressive. Next, to match the print. The police officer has samples so you can tell whose finger pr this, this print belongs to. Hmm, that doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. Okay. Pick the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. Who the hell's this? Oh, that's the victim. So, not hers. Wow, her fingerprint's actually the exact same as it was in the first game. That's impressive. Nope. Oh, it's not his. Wait a minute, that isn't his. Wait. To be fair, it... I guess it is his. Yeah, it is, okay. It just didn't look like it matched. I guess it was his. So, the fingerprints do belong to the defendant. Yeah. Oh yes, isn't it amazing? Ah, the power of science. It's my life. Apollo, she's sparkling. And I'm dimming. Look. Oh, look sharp. Spirit's up. The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly. The trial hasn't even started and I'm already losing. Great. So that's a knife that belongs to Waki. Well, shit. What else did we get? Time of death. 14th of June. After 10 p.m. Ooh, a lot of me. After 10 p.m., cause of death, single bullet to the right temple. Eldoon's noodle stand, victim died pulling it. Also known as a shiv. Shiv. God, I fucking. Shiv. I up to the wrong moment. Found at the crime scene, bearing Waki's prints. What else can I examine? What's in here? Anything? There's got to be a good clue or two around here. You and your trash cans, go ahead, knock yourself out. Please, can't you see I'm doing my... Huh? L look Another pair of underwear! Wow, Apollo. You're a genius at finding panties. Stop saying that. Wait, these aren't... They're not mine! But these have been stolen too. I mean, I think we know who they are. So, have you met the defendant? Uh, no. Visiting hours are almost over at the detention centre. You might think about wrapping up here and heading over. Good idea. I don't know what good it will do. We have a witness. And a knife with prints. Have I mentioned I've got a bad feeling about this? Don't worry, it's like a right tradition. Some traditions I can live without. Oh. Could I not give her her bloomers back?
Oh, she ain't there anymore. Ah, I found a bloomers. <laughs> Wait, right into the agency, and then from here I can go to the detention center. Hello, trash can. At the people park, distinctive bloomers to say the least. Definitely, for sure. Bum bum. Right, detention center. Not too bad. Ooh, even this looks snazzy. It's really cool to just see all the different screens be, like, redone to a 82 HD, I guess. I'm sorry, meeting hours for the day are all done. But we still have three minutes. I'll put in your request, but don't expect anything. The father's talking in the private room with him. The father? You mean, like, a priest? I mean the suspect's father, Mr. Winfred Bigwins Kitaki himself. Not someone I care to meet. Die, you... Okay. Wait a minute, I never actually read, um... The victim's... Profile, did I? There we go. The victim, director of the Maractus Clinic, died pulling the noodle stand. What a way to go. You're the one on your way out, old... Ah, they're here. Holy shit. Whoa, this guy radiates power. Power, with a cute apron. You walk his lawyer? Yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Wins Kataki, fourth head of the Kataki family, capiche? Uh, actually, I came to speak to your son. Mr. Justice. Yes. My son's innocent. He killed no one. If he were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? Yes. I'm all about capiche. Capiche out. <laughs> capiche loud and clear. You gotta do more than just understand to make it. You'll learn, though. Even if the lesson comes at the end of your short life. Oh, wow. I don't feel so good. What's the idea, old man? Oh dear. You can't treat me like a kid no more, not now. You know, I... I... I wanted to go to the clink. I like it here. You must be walky. But G's not a G till he does hard time. <laughs> Bizoy. You'll see. When I get out of here, things will change. Jesus. Silence. My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. Huh. You can't take me under your wing this time, old man. You heard me, I don't need no trial, I did it. I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. <coughs> oh dear. So much for talking to our client. But we made so much progress today. We even found my panties. I had fun at least. Of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? Oh, I almost forgot, it's time for my show. Tonight I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. Okay. Oh, to be continued. Okay. Now yeah, I'm actually gonna end the session here. Because I think I could probably do both trials. Next session, the former and the latter. Maybe. We'll see, I suppose. Oh well, yeah, this will be a, it'll be slightly shorter than 30 minutes, but I don't really mind. Either way, that is going to be the end of the session. Uh, yes. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.